Welcome to the Creating Gradebook Categories demo. In this demo, you will learn how to set up gradebook categories such as tests, homework, and labs. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create gradebook categories in which to place your grade items associated with your student assessments and assignments. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the course tools drop down menu. Then choose the grades link. Notice we are in the enter grades area as shown by the tab near the top of the page. Click on manage grades tab just to the right of the enter grades tab. We're going to create a grade book. Notice the icons across the top include new and more actions. Each grade item corresponds to one column in the finished grade book. It will be associated with one graded item, such as Quiz 3. The graded items are organized into categories, such as quizzes, tests, homework, projects, etc. To set this up, first we build the categories and then we build the grade items inside the categories. Before you start, you need to figure out how you want to organize your gradebook. Do you want to organize it by tests, homework, papers, exams, and projects? How much of the final grade is each category worth? For example, you could build a gradebook where quizzes are 50%, homework is 30%, and the final exam is 20%. You need to have your category weights add up to 100% before you start. Once you have outlined your gradebook on paper, click on the New button and select the Category link. At the top are two tabs, Properties and restrictions. Under the properties tab, enter in the name of your category in the name field, for example, quizzes. If the name of the item is fairly long, beneath it you can create a short name that will be in the column header for that item in your gradebook. If you are using the weighted grading system, you will enter the weight of the category in the weight field. In our example, we will have quizzes worth 50% of the final grade. If you are using the points grading system, you can enter how many points each item will be worth in the points field. Just below the weight box, you have the option to set all of the grade items in that category to the same weight value towards the final grade. This will set all of the quizzes to the same weight in the category and will allow the computer to do all of the math for you. For example, if you have four quizzes, each one weighs one-fourth of the category or 25%. If you add another quiz later, the computer will automatically adjust the weight of each quiz to one-fifth of the category or 20%. If you want to use this option, make sure the appropriate radio button beneath the distribution field is checked. When you distribute the weight evenly, you also have the option to drop the highest or lowest grades from each student. To do this, change the 0 to a 1 or to the number of items to drop in the appropriate box. The display options allow you to show the class average and grade distribution for this category to your students. It will also allow you to override or change the display options for this category. Click the Save button when you are finished. Next, click on the Restrictions tab. Most faculty leave the categories visible. Release conditions can be created and or attached. If you need to create more categories, 
you can click on the Save and New button. Or you can click the Save and Close button when you are finished making changes. This returns you to the Manage Grades page. If you are using a weighted grading system, you will need to check that the weights of your categories add up to 100%. If they do not, you will see a note at the top of the page that reads final calculated grade subs to a percentage not 100%. Repeat the previous steps to finish creating all of your categories. When you are finished, if your total is not 100%, check the select box next to all of your categories. Then click on the bulk edit link. Now you can see all of the category weights on the same screen. Change them until they equal 100%. When you are finished, click the Save button. You have now successfully created Gradebook Categories.